Um, I'm assuming that four, your four characters have already been doing stuff together. You've already been either adventuring or doing jobs or, you know... Each other. Smuggle, mm-hmm. Smuggling runs or whatever you feel like doing together. I'm, I'm not mm-hmm. going to, like, pretend... Oh, sure, oh. these guys are my best friends. <laughs> wow, it's right in the feels. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, you're between jobs for whatever reason, whether your ship is broken down... Or you just are between jobs, and you know maybe maybe it's a little maybe for some reason it's quiet time on the rock of brawl, and you're just sort of, um, you know, whatever you might want to be doing. What would you like to be doing in your downtime? Are you just are you like drinking party down drinker types, or are you like in the library? Oh no, I don't want to. Uh, I'm trying to steer clear of trouble. I'm keeping an ear to the ground for jobs, and maybe I'm looking for like labor on the docks, dock side okay. work, unloading spelljammer ships full of goods. That's where job jobs go out. Probably reading up on blue laws uh, while enjoying some libations, uh, and look, looking at looking at fun games to play wherever we're going. Uh, he's kind of a, he can, I think Buster is so dumb that he doesn't think that we're between jobs. The guy is on a vacation. Very well earned. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dangle rather be fishing man, a fishing magician. <laughs> Are you fishing off the rock of brawl, like into space with a big hook, and hope you yeah, land, I guess like, space fish. land a space fish? <laughs> <in the ocean. laughs> I, uh, I have an enchanted six pack nearby. Nice, it just refills. Yes, well, Me I too. refill it, but with magic. Oh, I see. Oh, I, okay. I thought it had a filter. You just pee in one end. And <laughs> the uh, that's what I'm drinking in real life. <laughs> <laughs> this is about escapism. If there's any animal, I'll be taking care of my. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Um, the Celestial Donkey, as my mom. <laughs> His name is Fat Ass. <laughs> nice. Uh, and, yes, yeah, it's, it's simple but effective. Uh, and he'll just be taking care of him and uh, any other animals we have on board. Just kind of doing a day-to-day thing. Wherever he is, he'll just treat this like it's another another, another day on the farm. What about you? Uh, Body Body <laughs> does exactly two things, and he's currently doing both of them. <clears throat> Murdering Fighting and, and doing drugs. Yep. <laughs> Fighting drugs and snorting guys. <laughs> Alright, so um so Dak Dak? Dak. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Duck. <laughs> Duck. Dak. Goose. Um so Goose. as you're uh, as you're as you're doing menial labor trying to pay off your bar tab or whatever <laughs> yeah. on the docks, um you actually see a I'm trying um, to buy a new carburetor for my spell chamber show. You uh you see a um uh a dragonfly ship land. I don't know if you know what a dragonfly is. Uh, um, yeah, I've seen, seen <laughs> I've the seen pictures. Bugs before. <laughs> I've seen bugs before. <laughs> bugs, bugs, bugs. <laughs> it's basically one of these. Yeah. It's basically one of these. Not very big. Oh, neat. It's like the dune ships. Yes. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Um, Ornithopter. You know, smallish, smallish group apartment. It's like ten people can crew the thing. And then, you know, mm-hmm. s- semi-smallish uh, cargo area. And you've seen them before. Um, and one guy uh, comes off of it. Um, human, um, and he just starts kind of like, you know, he, he lands somewhat sort of near your position, and um, uh, he just sort of he, he walks off, and he's sort of like, um, like a pensive and coming off the ship, like mm-hmm. like like he's not, you know, he's not like strutting off, like you know, this is my ship, you know, he's mm-hmm. kind of like, you know, perhaps a little unsure of himself and sort of wondering, uh, um, you know, he might be, you know. Not, not really quite like he belongs, and he lo- he's mm-hmm. looking around, and he sort of sees you sort of nearby, toting whatever bale you might be toting <laughs> at the moment. And um, space hamsters. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my shot. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> um, Refreshing and meaty. <laughs> uh, he, 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 you're kind of the only like worker type around at that particular moment, and he says, uh, um, "Excuse me, uh, I need to." Uh, Looking for uh, for little help. I, I don't come here very much, and I, I need uh, direction. What are you trying to find? Um, I need to hire trustworthy people for a job, and I don't quite know where to turn. I don't know any of those. Oh. You're in the wrong place. Well, right? <laughs> hiring people's easy. Hiring trustworthy people that'll cost you. This is the kind of place where you buy trust. <laughs> um. Uh, point me in direction, and I will. Uh, I will go and find. I might know a few people. Why don't we uh, head up? Have you eaten yet? Have I eaten yet? 
<laughs> Food. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, Why do you think I have hamsters? <laughs> here, yeah. Here, have six or seven. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> Once you pop the fun, don't stop. Uh, uh, no, I, I have eaten, but I will follow. All right, come on with me. And I'll lead him up to the... The bar where I know these two are. He turns around, he has a clicker. Beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to try and make eyes with uh, Boomhauer over there. <laughs> and be like... Dang old name's Chester, man. <laughs> and I'll just give you the, the little... You, uh... If, if, when you spot the guy, you almost immediately get a beat on him as being some form of alchemist. So. Oh. Or, um... Artificer, sorry. I keep saying alchemist, but I'm not some form of artificer. I mean, I'm literally both, so it's all right. Um, an alchemist, actually. <laughs> <An> alchemist. <laughs> Drink it up at anything possible. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's body by mess, uh, uh, arch rival. <laughs> or a superhero name. <laughs> Plop, pop, fizz, fizz, motherfucker. This week on Monday Night Raw, body by meth kicks on the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he can get to come out of the I would actually watch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two men enter and two men will leave after being fisted with alcohol. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got you know he's got the the kind of uh, very tropey like you know bags of you know you can hear bags of bottles clinking and he has you know various types of gear you know he has like goggles and you kind know, you kind of get a beat on him right away as for what he might be. Anything but, worth stealing? Um, let me perception check just for sure. hell. Uh, let's see, that is an 18. Uh, okay, I was going to offer up insight too. I didn't like your 18, but 18 uh, is okay. Yeah, insight, insight would have been a better roll, but I'll stick with the 18. Okay, so um, he kind of looks like he kind of looks like he might like spend all his time like working under trucks or working in you know working in like digs right. or anything mm-hmm. like that. And he's, he's, he's he, I wouldn't quite call him like filthy, but he probably has his you know. Sunday go to meat and oil changing clothes on, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Telltale stains. So, so you don't necessarily think he's like made of money. <laughs> okay. All okay. right. Damn, that's another good name. <laughs> Telltale stains. <laughs> the result of the Alka Fister. <laughs> Some people have ethics. We have methics. <laughs> methods. <laughs> yes. Meth methods. Meth methods. Uh, they, so they we show all, up with no we going to be gathering to meet this Yeah, well, so I, actually, I wanted to ask you. Um, yeah. Would you guys consider yourselves to be like famous people for hire, like names that people would recognize, or do you keep under the under the under the? I mean, I, I seem like trying like trying to keep a low profile. Like my name is probably known among people who are looking to hire shady people to do shady things, but I wouldn't be like in the paper if I could avoid it. Okay, I think Buster would be famous. He has a high charisma, so he's like enjoyable and has a strong personality. But at the same time. His want to do good all the time makes him a problem. So people send him at problems they don't expect to be solved, and he just bumbles his way through them and somehow doesn't die because he's a defense style and has a super high AC. And he never knows that people are trying to get rid of him, but he keeps not dying, and that probably has made him famous amongst thugs. Like, <laughs> we, like this, you can't fuck with. Why this can't guy. you get rid of this guy? Are you like mm-hmm. Are you like the old lady in a fish called Wanda, where all the dogs keep getting murdered and they can never murder her? I haven't seen this. <laughs> Oh, you've never seen a fish called Wanda? No. Uh, that's a classic. Wow. Oh. Mm-hmm. One more for, let me add that to my list. Yeah, add that to the list. <laughs> I would say uh, I value my leisure time and being left alone in my leisure time too much to want to be famous. So there's probably people who know who I am from adventuring, but I don't encourage that sort of thing. And uh, body by in the manner of uh, short kings and drug addicts thinks he's really famous. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's kind of like the naked cowboy of Times Square. Like, everybody knows him, but nobody really knows, knows him. him. Nobody goes near him. <laughs> <laughs> I played at Coachella. Yeah, with yourself, and it was gross. <laughs> <laughs> I played with myself at Coachella. That doesn't feel <laughs> special, my dude. I mean, I watched, but I didn't like it. <laughs> All right, cool. So you're gonna bring him back to wherever these guys are. Yep, yep. Cool. We'll, we'll gather the party at the tavern. Yep. In my, a unique twist of D and D fate. My name is uh, Vaclav Podrescu. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Dak. That's uh, Body By and Chester and uh, the sheriff. Oh, I've heard. What's this? What's the guy's name again? Uh, Vaclav. Last name? Uh, Podrescu. Well, it's nice to progress you too. <laughs> 
<laughs> my name is Buster Buckwheat. Dang old clay what, pipe, man. <laughs> what, do you, what, do all, what do we all look like, by the way? Oh, good question. Yeah, what do you all look like? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, obviously, I'll first, I'll, I started this. So, <laughs> Buster, I imagine, is sort of like like dirty blonde. Uh, he's probably like a, a fairly fairly handsome as halflings go, but he's got like a wide face. He's got a round body. Because, um, uh, you know, after a time day on the law, they love to, to pile down the old buffet. I just can't get enough. He's Clint Eastwood if you compressed him by three feet. That's, that's fair. <laughs> uh, just like, you know, like, bri- like Clint bright, Eastwood. Bright blue eyes. Uh, happy dude. Uh, fat ass the donkey is um, just... <laughs> just fat ass? Well, it was certainly that. Uh, as ra- round as Buster is. Uh, but but the mane has like this trashy like rainbow color to it. And he's covered in some glitter. Uh, because he's, he's some, celestial. Some, my little donkey. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> My little fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he he helps whatever the buff- whatever in the buffet Buster doesn't finish. Uh, fat ass finishes the job for sure. Well, I can imagine this is the kind of buffet that uh, nobody goes to the salad bar. So the donkey can just, the donkey can just pull up a chair. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> all peel and eat shrimp. I was going to say, let's not mince words. It's Golden Corral. <laughs> it's a Golden Corral. Yeah, for sure it is. <laughs> there's there's got to be a Golden Corral in the Rocker Brawl. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody goes there after church. And I would say um, Chester has blonde hair, high cheekbones, sunken cheeks, uh, but he's wearing uh, a, a denim jacket covered in patches and some torn blue jeans. Uh, and he's got like a satchel over one side that's actually a cooler. And you can hear glass clinking around in there. Uh, and periodically, instead of paying for booze, he'll just drink something out of the satchel. <laughs> nice. And uh, Bye Bye is your uh, typical gnome, but very ripped and slightly sunken cheeks and just never wearing a shirt or shoes. <laughs> just jeans, that's it. Awesome. You're a three foot tall Florida man. And yes. uh, Dak is a human. He's uh, he's he's kind of middle aged, so he, you could tell he used to be like kind of skinny and athletic in his youth, but now he's kind of gotten skinny fat, a little paunch on him. Um, covered from neck to ankle in prison tattoos. Um, big biker mustache. And uh, like, like the the guy who's golden going bald, but still has the finger of hair on top, but then buzzes the whole thing just to keep from <laughs> himself from looking bald. He's nice. got that that prison cut on top. Boy, we look really reputable. <laughs> Probably the most yeah. reputable people in the rock or brawl. I was gonna say that Buster does look reputable, but it, he's like probably would, but he's just like greasy and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen like a good looking guy who's just like? Yeah, you're, you're not quite there. Every time I look in the mirror. No. Right behind you, or I was gonna say, a good-looking guy who just ain't that attractive. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> God, throw me a d twenty. Just throw, throw me a, just a d twenty. Just throw it at him. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you might actually recognize this guy. Oh, you may have you may have been in first year alchemist school. For like, or artificer school. Artificer is the main class, right? or both. Yeah, yeah. You might you might have been in first year artificer school before you actually picked your major, and you may actually recognize him from a couple classes. Um, but uh, oh, you, you, you kind of lost, lost, lost touch a little bit because you kind of went in different different directions. But uh, he may actually kind of sort of recognize you. They hooked up the eyes. freshman mixer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, freshman fifteen inches. <laughs> I went to the fine the fine seat doesn't say specifically that I can get a donkey. And this pony is one of the things I can get. Oh. If you're cool with using me using the mule stats. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'm all about the ass, man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a big, fat ass. I had, to, I had to make sure you were an ass man. Because <laughs> I'm the ass man. I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be down for pony play if you wanted to. <laughs> oh, God. All right, get out of my house. <laughs> I, need I need a different adult. <laughs> Good luck finding one. Um, I don't know why I'm preparing to roll my dice. Since I have uh, okay, cool. So, um, yeah, Vaklav. So, Vaklav is, is a human. Um, kind of tall. Kind of, you know, but not like in shape. Just kind of like, he- you know, like a big guy, but not like an in shape kind of dude. Um, black hair, just all over the place. You know, like bedhead. Um, so, so uh, Dak brings him in and he, he, he sort of recognizes Chester. Uh, do, do we... Do we know each other? Mm, dang old pub, man. I haven't seen you in like 20 something years in the glass when you be breaking stuff. And... Oh, I remember you now. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, good. Uh, do you trust these? Oh, ain't dang old clowns? Yep. 
I just I just realized that you are like the backwoods breaking bad couple over here. Like, you got the, the meth addict and the uh and the chemist. You guys are like one Winnebago short of breaking bad. <laughs> Breaking dumb. <laughs> Get your ship off the blocks, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. New New Cannon. The spell jammer ship that's on blocks is a Winnebago. It is the Eagle Five. There the you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, he looks around, and you're kind of in a public kind of bar, kind of area, or something. Mm-hmm. So there's somewhere more private we can talk. Is there? Just got it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like a, like a conference make, room. Make up something. Yeah. The uh, uh, stall in the men's room. Yeah. <laughs> Gather into That's the stall in the men's room. <laughs> oh, okay. Wrong party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all get under the table. <laughs> well, whatever I want to promise, yeah, I go to the loom. <laughs> so, so the <laughs> I just whip it out and start pissing, then everybody leaves. <laughs> well, that'd be against the rules. It's a choice. <clears throat> um, okay, so you go off. You go off, and you find some place a little bit more, like you know, less out in the open. And first, he asks, he says, "Do you ever uh, take jobs from elves or from the alliance or from?" And he just starts rattling off a list of different factions, like different like military factions. You know, uh, um, you know, basically asking if uh, if you've ever done work for any of them. Oh, that's a lot of jobs. A big old pub, man. You can work with work. You can give me the money. I can do whatever thing you want to do, man. What are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll take the work wherever we can get it. Uh, B- Buster was like, "Oh, sure, I'd work for those guys. They're great." <laughs> can you be trusted? This this is a this this job is very uh, very sensitive, and I don't want to uh, I don't want anyone to know. You must keep we must keep each other's word. Oh, so we're like secret agents then? Oh, well, that sounds like fun. I, I, I'm in. I won't, secret. I won't tell nobody. Uh-huh. Let's let's rephrase. Secret <laughs> independence. Like I told you on the docks, uh, you know that kind of trust is bought. What does twenty five thousand gold pieces sound to you? Well, that'll buy a hell of a lot of trust. Oh, dangle, shit. Dangle, 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 man. <laughs> so he pulls out. He reaches into his bag of shit, and you hear bottles clinking around. And all the, the pulls out. He pulls out. Gold. <laughs> pulls out a little <laughs> tiny cask of like you know it looks like a, a beer cask but it's only about that big and, and, it, and it's got like these little bands that go around it it's like it's wooden but it's got these little metal bands that kind of go around it and he says this this will change spell jamming warfare forever hmm. I need people I can trust to get me more and I will, I will show you. Can anybody here cast a cantrip? Oh, yeah. No, not me. Um, I can't trip. Is there something like, uh, like, um, you know, light or something that's like more permanent, you know, that, that's semi permanent? I could do, uh, dancing lights or anything, you know, anything um, that sort of. Uh, do you need me to cast light on something? Is that the, uh. Y- yes, he, he says, he says, a demonstration. Can you, you know, can any of you cast something? A little, little bit of a spell, you know, lights know. or something. I, uh, I hold out my hand, I tap my ring, and it glows with bright light in about five feet. Cool. Um, and he 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 um, turns around and he, he sort of you hear him unscrewing something. He takes a little bit of something, he throws it on your ring, and the light goes, <laughs> and it's gone. The hmm. ring or the light? The ring is there, but the light is gone. Huh. Hmm. And he quickly puts he quickly puts the cover back on. Oh, wow, do it again. Do it again. He shoots you a look. Tap the ring. <laughs> um, this is Jammer's Bane. It is a moss that grows on a planet called Sverostrakaska, which stands for the Stagnant Sphere. There's a moss that grows on that planet. I have found a way to nullify jamming ships and make them stop. I need, I have ten barrels. Real barrels. Not little barrel. I have ten real barrels. If we can fill and recover, I can sell for good money. But we must sell to right people. This could be very dangerous to wrong people. And uh, in your estimation, who are the right people? 
or more importantly, the wrong ones? Well, great question. I want this to be defensive worlds who should not be in the middle of battles. Let elves and neogis and fight in stars as much as they like. I want to sell to planets and asteroids to defend themselves. War happens in areas where war should not happen. <laughs> Dangle to red space, man. Mm. Let's go! Uh, oh, sir, that, that, that sounds like a mighty swell and very safe and responsible plan. And I'm completely in. Are you all in? I'm in. First, we need to get the moss, though, right? First, we must... We must make contract. Okay. Well, that's right. Nothing gets done without a piece of paper that says you're doing it. <laughs> ah, <shit>. Um... <laughs> Um, I have ship. You've seen me land in ship. And, uh, we take that ship unless you have better. Uh, my ship's uh, currently in the shop. It needs new carburetor and drive shaft and, uh, four bald tires. Okay, there's a pilot, man. I've got a, I've got a folding boat. <laughs> Seatbelts might work. It may be handy. You bring, you bring boat. Your ship has seatbelts? <laughs> yeah, in, there's a, there's a box marked seatbelts, and they're all in the box there. <laughs> Grab one when you want <laughs> <laughs> they're, the, they're the demo ones. Yeah. Just sort of, <laughs> they're only like this big. Um, cool. Uh, we need to make contract. I have uh, I have uh, military public standing by. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting very official for a secret operation. Halfway half the loot, know you? I must. We must have trust. We must be able to trust each other. You know, not me. I know, not you. For twenty five thousand gold pieces, I guess I'll meet your notary public. So he leads you. He leads you away, and um, he goes to a. In the Rocket Brawl, there actually is a big building that is like a not not quite a city hall, but it's like um, um, a bureaucratic center. Bureaucratic center kind of thing, like you know, one of those um, the, the nicer strip malls that has like lawyers' offices and oh, dentists. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. not not like the dry cleaner and you know, you know nope. it's, got, it's got like the nice one. So he goes in, and um, you know, he leads you in, and uh, you know, there's there's a. You know, receptionist, whatever, and, and um, actually, did I have name this guy? Um, I did not because I'm an idiot. Um, he says, "Yes, is uh, is uh, is uh, 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 the honorable uh, the honorable Mendane nearby? Yes, he is in his office." And she like buzzes on something. Who knows? She like buzzes. On <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> she gets a cantrip and the desk buzzes. <laughs> we got a Vaclav Podrescu here for you. He's got some people. Come in, you know, you hear over the magic intercom. Rock a brawl, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> and you may recognize this creature as an, um, is it an arcane? Uh, yes, the, or the Mercane. Mercane. The big blue dudes? Merkins. No. <laughs> Merkins. <laughs> it's a big bu- pubic wig sitting on a desk. I mean, it's a top hat and a monocle. I mean, it's a bureaucracy, so... There he is. It's a Mercane. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looks like a good, trustworthy dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, those of you who have, who have done this sort of work before, Malevolent you may have avoided that. this in the past because it's also, like, not necessarily the greatest thing. So, so sometimes <laughs> you may not want this. Yeah. But what these guys do is they do um, magically binding contracts. Yikes. It's and dirty. Yeah. And the magically binding contract basically says, you know, you agree to these terms, and if you don't, you're, you're for those, I don't know if this term is still used in D&D, but you're geist into yeah. performing an action. Yeah, that's yeah, still, that's still, uh, still a spell. spell. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And it'll kill you. Your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend eternity in my watery hell so great. Nice. Um, Yikes. Plus expenses. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the terms. So, um, if, if, if you agree to a company Vaklov... Mm-hmm. And the barrels, mm-hmm. um, and he, and you bring back the barrels back, you know, full back to brawl. Um, you get fifty percent of the take, mm-hmm. and it's of ten barrels is the full fifty. If you lose barrels, and obviously, okay, portions come off. All right. If the entire party separates from him for a distance of a mile or more mm-hmm. before returning, you're you're compelled to reunite before anything else can happen with the deal. So okay. you can't you can't just abandon the guy. If you abandon the guy. Um, you abandon 
any other conditions that have to go. And, yeah. and your your G is to meet. Your G is to basically go find the guy. Right. Okay. Sure. Sure. Does it work like the spell? Like if we defy it, it starts pounding us with psychic damage. Uh, great question. We'll cross that bridge when we come back. We can start doing the thing and uh, find out. <laughs> yeah, he's a bear tip, very dear. Um, if he dies before you return, all the barrels will break. Oh. So that's, that's a bummer. It is. Um, and you are also G is to bring his body back to his brother who was in Brawl. Okay. What if he moves more than a mile away from us? Does that... That's is, a great well, question. Break his legs, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we fold him up, we put him in a backpack. <laughs> so he, like he is compelled yeah. to do the same for you. So if he's okay. the one who leaves, oh, yeah. he's compelled yeah. to find you, and if you're the one who leaves him, you're compelled to find him. Okay. You're com- you're compelled to meet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. M-E-A-T. Okay. If both of you agree at any time, you can break it, and then you all go your separate ways. Um, you know, whether or not you can get him to agree is, is, is you know... One thing. Uh, the agreement can't be under duress, so no spell-like agreements. Right? It's got to be a, an honest agreement to, like, fuck you. Well, fuck you, too. Okay, great. <laughs> We're um, now. Yeah. Uh, do you agree? Yes. Or do you want to make any amendments? No. I think we're, we're, we're just going to go with the way it's boilerplate, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I'm smart enough to look into that. Body by is not. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay. Cool. So he does this whole... Uh, wow, look at all these words. It's got to be legitimate. Let's do it. <laughs> um, you do know that Mercane are pretty up, 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 above board. Yep. You, know, you yeah. would probably know that, especially that you know, Mercane are pretty above board. I mean, it's not universally so, but this guy has a, a nice office with a pretty receptionist, so he's got to be legitimate. Oh, me too. Clearly. And a buzzing desk. Yeah, that wasn't our desk that was buzzing. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, a buzzing chair then. <laughs> <laughs> She's just sitting on a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So he does a big fancy ritual and everything else, yeah, and all this yeah, magical yeah, stuff yeah. goes on, and you're now basically GS to the terms of that of that agreement. And um, I guess you are ready to be on your way. Eh? Anything you want to do or, or pick up or anything? You guys are probably already equipped, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, he will t- uh, just, yeah, yeah. just for stuff. I think I might have already mentioned that it's um, it's uh, this is a moss. It's a moss product, and it yes. basically grows in a swamp. Mm-hmm. Um, he, 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 if asked, he acquired this stuff from others. He hasn't actually, he knows where the planet is, but he hasn't actually per- personally been there. Somebody else gave him, gave him these samples and he cooked up this recipe and he finds that it works pretty well. And, you know, so he's sort of doing this. So are the other people who are harvesting, are they going to be on the planet? Are we going to be avoiding them? Uh, we are the harvesters. We okay. have to figure out how to tote 10 of these barrels. And, um. We got a doggy. So yeah. currently he's just holding That's it right. for a friend. So currently, um, so you also get the impression that he is like, he doesn't necessarily have like 50 grand to pay you. He, mm. he has to sell these yeah, and he yeah. thinks he can get that much for them. And that's where your cut comes in. Uh, gotcha. sure you're getting half. Deal. Yep. Yeah. Now the, um, I noticed that in the contract, there was no sort of stipulation on the sell or sale price or who they're selling it to. That's all left open-ended. Um, he will have no problem putting in that uh, every honest effort will be made to get the best price. <clears throat> he can't guarantee a price, but he, he, he you know, he can be GS to, he can include that in the contract that I will, you know. But, but he does say, you know, he's not selling it, he's not selling it to the elves, he's not selling it to the Niyogi, he's not selling it to any of those, you know, traditional spacefaring warrior assholes. He, he, he wants to sell it to, like, Brawl for their own defense and mm. for, you know, other settlements for their own defense, and okay. that, that's what his shtick is. Okay. Godzilla. Godzilla. I just ran an adventure for that guy. You did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, That's cool. Um, anything else before we take off? Um, should we get some kind of boat or something to ford a swamp with? Well, I got my folding boat. There you go. <laughs> and by my estimations, it could hold safely up to four medium-sized creatures. And I'd say that fat ass and I constitute about that much. <laughs> and he um, just pats the flab. That's, right. that, that's medium fat right there. <laughs> Do you uh, kill people with a weapon? I assume yes. Yes. Do you have a magic weapon? I don't. Do you want one? Oh, sure. Well, okay. Oh, well, see, I've, I've got my um, lance, and uh, when I want to subdue someone, I just put this kind of rubber fist on the top of it. And, then, <laughs> and you know, it just pummels them down. Where, where did you get the rubber fist from? The Alco Fister! That's right. That's right. He's a legitimate businessman. Oh, and I, I forgot to mention, of course, too, that uh, that Buster Shield is a big badge. 
He, uh, nice. car- he, might- he had it commissioned himself. Is okay. your uh, folding boat an outboard? A what? An outboard. What's an outboard? With a motor on it. Motor on it. Heck, I mean, it, it, if uh, the GM lets it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like made out, of, made out of wood. It probably doesn't actually work. Um, what do you use for weapon? Uh, I've got short sword, dagger, and a short bow. All right. The standard rogue spread. Uh, I'm going to tap your short sword. It is now a plus one short sword. Yay! Oh, uh, I can't touch your fist and make you have magic hands. I have a flail. I can't uh, touch your fist and make you have magic hands. And before we go on on uh, this proper life, life in danger adventure, <coughs> I think it'd be good if I gave all of you aids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I already right. got some. <laughs> yeah, I got it in prison. I'm good. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna go... Uh, once, once the time... Once the, like, we enter, yeah. you know... You've got two weeks... You've got two weeks to give everyone aids. You can... You can... <laughs> <laughs> so once we touch down, I will call upon the divine powers of being nice to each other to give you all aid. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Delightful. The being nice to each other part, not the aids. <laughs> <laughs> That's his belt. That's his paladin faith. All right, cool. Um, anything else before we take off? Nope. 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 So, so you have a, a meeting time, you know, at such and such a time. We'll take <coughs> off from, from the docks or whatever. Yeah. And um, you know, you know, when, when you guys show up, you already, you know, there, there, there's already lights on and, and the thing, and he, um, you know, he, he beckons you to come on, and you already see that he has a pilot. He already has someone who will pilot the ship. Um, it's it's a woman with uh, um, fantastic nails. So she's sitting there, she's like, you know, she's doing this. And, and uh, you know, real like, you know, hair, just magnificent hair, you know, and overdone makeup. And, wow. You know, uh-huh. And he's like, uh, everyone, this is Roz. <laughs> uh, hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you, miss. Hi. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Better sit down, we're going to be leaving. <laughs> now that's a woman. <laughs> I, I go get a seatbelt out of the box of seatbelts. Dang old catch, man. <laughs> um, yeah, just don't make any noise. I just don't feel like any noise. Hurry up. We're leaving. All right. Are we leaving, boss? Yeah, we're leaving. You guys ready? Yep. yep. Yeah, let's cool. do it. All right. Dragonfly takes off, and it, it seems to run... Pretty well. It's probably a little noisy. I could probably use a tune-up, but uh, it's not too. You know, the lifters are tapping a little bit, but it's not too bad. I go for some tuna too. Um, you know, it's just it's about two weeks to the. Uh, it's about two weeks to uh, Zvera Stojaka. Bless you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the stagnant sphere. Um. Yeah. So a little bit about that. So um, whoever probably would be like most spell jammerish of you, who would probably be like the most uh. Astronomical would be you. So, um, you really haven't heard of this place. Um, the sphere that it's in is like, there's really not a lot that goes on there. It's not a very, um, it's not really civilized. There's not like, you know, there's no big cities and there's no like, there's really no reason to go there. It's there's, Arkansas. There's like no, yeah, kind of, you know, there's no <laughs> sentient races, just people who treat their dogs real bad. It's a flyover <laughs> sphere. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're like, why, you, why am I, you know, there's nothing ever been here. You know, that's like all you ever know about it. Um, but that's where you're going. That's where you're going to get half your, half your loot from. So you're okay with that. Um, cool. Um, so after, after 12 or 14 days or so, you're finally ready to uh, arrive to the place. You know, the sphere door is open. You're, you've been traveling the flow just and you, you go in and you, um, you come across this planet and it's a planet with like, Water and oceans and mountains and forests and wow, we got the whole package. Yeah. <laughs> and gun, ice bear. on the poles and <laughs> dang, um, crimson tide, man. <laughs> do you want to just let him, you know, let Raj drive in, or is there anything you want to do to? No, I mean, I'll, I'll you know, I'll take in the view. I guess I'm looking for like problems, complications. I'll just refresh everybody on my paladin abilities a bit. Uh, now remember, in case we run into any swamp mermaids that try to charm you <laughs> with their feminine wiles. <laughs> Stay within about ten feet of me, and I'll be sure, sure you can't get charmed. That's right. There's no temptation away from the law. That means when you take your pacing, just pace in angry circles around him instead of around the block, okay? All I'm saying is don't, <laughs> don't, don't stick your penis in mysterious swamp women. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> I thought you were going to say, don't stick your penis in my cereal. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> That's rule number two. <laughs> That's one of the big rules. <laughs> That's the opposite of being nice to each other. That's right. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so um, so he does kind of a um, um, sort of a high pass. You know, he has Roz do sort of a high pass at the area, and you see like a big lake, and then like marshy swampland all around the lake. Um, there's like some sort of a village, like a, a ramshackle sort of like village on one end of the lake, and uh, like you know, like there's a hill that had. Um, uh, like doesn't have any trees on top for whatever reason, um, and he just sort of does a uh, you know drive by. That's quite, the, that's quite the phrase he had. He's not like <laughs> rapid shooting all the frogs. Um, cool. Um, and he uh, he says, you know, why don't we uh, uh, why don't we land by the on, on the on the on the hill? What do you think? I like hills. Ross, what the hill look good to you? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that, yeah, we can we can go there. All right, buckle up, Buttercup. Ah, ah buckle this. <laughs> I, I put a second seatbelt on. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I I, I, brought, I brought extra seatbelts. <laughs> nice. I start manually man, manually inflating my own airbag. Safety first. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> See, it goes around you like a hug. <laughs> 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 body by body by prefers uh, drugs, not hugs. So. <laughs> then you can't feel it when you crash. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a good crackdown campaign. Hugs, not drugs. I like that. So as she goes to bring in for a landing, um, you feel the ship really start to shudder, you know, and the whole thing just starts rocking really bad. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't want to do that too nice much. Sure I don't, want, work, work. I don't yeah. want to collapse Brian's table. Um, and then it just starts lurching like really bad, and she just starts screaming, "What? Are, I, something's going wrong. I can't seem to get this thing back." And you know, I suddenly switched accents. <laughs> I can't seem to get this thing going. And um, you're basically crashing. Is there anything we could do to help, or are we just buckled in? Um, Trust in the seat belt. Let's, let's, let's do let's do a skill challenge. Let's right. do a, let's do a one round skill challenge to uh, every tray you, table up. How do you survive the crash, or help survive the crash? Oh boy! Uh, You've got that floating <laughs> folding boat. <laughs> oh, and fat ass is buckled in too. By the way, is he in like a massive like pet carrier? Probably. <laughs> or like a hammock of seat belts, maybe. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Gyroscopic donkey. Whoever's ready. Uh, yeah, so it's Spelljammer. We're going to get real stupid. Um, I am going to do a callback to one of Brian's characters, and I'm going to climb out onto like the wing of the dragonfly ship. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I've got my uh, repulsion, repulsion shield. And I'm waiting for uh, if, like, flying animals or whatever are going to collide with the vehicle. I'm just going to blast them 15 feet straight down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, go ahead and give me a roll. <laughs> uh, it's a magic shield. I'm going to go with a magic check. <laughs> That's a 21. Okay, great. So, um, <laughs> so you kind of realize it might, be, it might be a little bit better to be in the front. Yes. So you scurry right out to the front. And... Um, yeah, there's a bunch of like, uh, you know, it's it's uh, geese migrating season, and there's like a, 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 a bunch a bunch of uh, alien Canadian geese yeah. flying your way. Oh shit! Space Canada. You prevent us. Space you prevent Canada. A space Sully. <laughs> and all and all the all the geese like hit whatever this is, and they all <laughs> go off to the side. It's great. <laughs> it's literally a reaction that pushes them 15 feet away. And then for those spectating from afar, they just see a big cloud of feathers. <laughs> uh, I I have something. Uh, one of my items that I took is a portable hole. I'm just going to jump in it. Uh, <laughs> I'll fight my way out of it after the crash is over. You can take that portable hole and jump in it? Yeah. <coughs> That's a you can take this hole yeah. and jump in it! Yeah, exactly. And um, I, if you require a roll, I'll make the strength check it's going to require for me to get out of it when the, sh- the crashing is done, if you want. Yes, All yes. Right. Let's hold that thought. <laughs> yeah, okay. we'll, we'll hold that for the end. We'll hold that thought for the end. I was kind of debating just you have a back, you have a backup ball. character. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you done this maneuver before? Do you think? Uh, hidden in my smuggling compartment? Yes, yeah. okay. I think I probably have. I smuggled myself. I've done the Han Solo. Okay. <laughs> so that's what they call it these days. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, <laughs> yep, it's, it's pulling a Han Solo when you stick yourself in your own smuggling compartment. <laughs> <laughs> when you loop yourself into your own hole. <laughs> uh, Body Body is gonna run up to Roz and start screaming at her to like, "You're a pilot, aren't you? Fly better!" <laughs> Fly better! Smoke this meth! (laughs) 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 Just blowing meth hits in her face. Oh, that is a 13. Um, Hard to understand you with no teeth. I'm gonna gonna actually make a contestable on this. She grapples you out of the ship. (laughs) Ooh, she didn't roll very good either. Probably. Okay. Um, uh, Bless you. Cool. Um, So, so... In, in the first few mo- for a few moments of that thing, she turns. She says, "She says, now look, honey, I got my two year degree at Rock and Brawl Community College in eighteen months. So don't be telling me how to fly my plane." And then she like hits a tree, and then she's like, "Okay, I'll fly better." <laughs> nice to fly better. Uh, I think my move is gonna be like, oh, "Wait, don't forget your aids," and I'll uh, and and I'll just. Uh, <coughs> I know you're kind of out on the wing right now, so you're probably out of range. So I'll just, <laughs> So I will give myself and you two, uh, uh, Brian and Kay, AIDS. <laughs> so your maximum hit points go up by five. Brace yourselves! And then, and I'll, and I'll, then I'll just strap myself to fat ass uh, <laughs> and use my mounting combatant to re- re- redirect attacks to it. That is the impact, and I'll try to shield it with my own oh. body. Okay. Get for Rudy, fat ass. <laughs> okay, cool. If I didn't for every time I ever heard that. <laughs> yeah. And if I have time for an extra spell, I can know, well, no, this should be fine. I'll, I'll just... Like, put my shield up in front of all of us. It's like, I'll take the brunt of it, fat ass. <laughs> Stay with me now. Okay. So, um, so between you deflecting geese and you intimidating her to, like, do better, um, you know, the, the plane, the, the, the ship does crash. Breaks through a bunch of trees and does crash, but it doesn't fly apart or, or break up or anything. It doesn't, it sort of, it doesn't explode. It doesn't explode. It just sort of lands and like awkwardly in this patch of... She didn't make it to the bald hill. It's just sort of in this patch of woods. Um, the sudden stop will do uh, seven points of bludgeoning. Um, you know, if you guys took actions, you can, you know, adjudicate. Um, Would I have taken the damage being no, in portable so hole? No, <laughs> <just died. laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, you're yeah, taking sure. a new and exciting kind of damage. <laughs> so, so seven damage, you said. Yes. All right. Cool. And I will. Uh, shall I take double that because I'm, t- I'm going to redirect the damage from that from my mount? Do whatever you know. Whatever the mechanics say for that. I don't know how it that says works. I can, re- I can just choose to redirect an attack to my mount. So you could eat the damage. If yeah, you if you yeah. wish to. Yeah, that'd be a DM's call. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you know, both of you, I am assuming, would take the seven if you wanted to redirect your seven and give him an additional seven. Yeah, is that is that? He's going to eat the seven for his mount, so his mount yeah. doesn't liquefy. Yeah. Okay, so whichever, whatever the mechanic tells you to do is fine. Sounds good. Um, okay. Um, y- you're you've been in your hole before. Yeah, oh, I don't yeah. know if I wanted to say that sentence on air. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, we've all been in his hole. Yeah, um, I mean, I, it's open to all comers. <laughs> y- your hole has never felt this way before. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. You've had <laughs> moist. <laughs> you're getting like hallucinations and Whoa. like uh, um, you know disorientation, and you want the fuck out of this thing like right now. Okay, well, I'm busting out then. Good. So give me give me your strength roll. Bust out of your hole. Yeah. <clears throat> Natural one. <laughs> I can't find the hole. <laughs> the rest of you see. I'm, chug- I'm stuck in the revolving door. <laughs> the rest of you see one hand of Dax sticking out of his hole, <laughs> and like a muffled. Woo, 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 woo. Dang old, pretty silly man. <laughs> is, it, is this after the crash? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. If I can, I'll a, like gra- grab hold of my lance. I got you, and I'll just like try to try to extend it out to him. <laughs> And I'll like I'll fish it around trying to find it. How, uh, how big are the It uh, it's it unfolds to six feet. In diameter. Oh, it's that big around. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. It can it can fold up to the size of a handkerchief, but once unfolded, it's six feet. Okay. So are you gonna <clears throat> grab on? I'll let you. Just I'll try. Yeah, if I if I can, I will. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and um between the two of you, each of you make a strength check. The um uh, athletics and athletics. Let's, let's see what the two of you get. Thirteen natural one six. Oh, but I'm a half light. I can reroll ones. Yeah, yeah. two. two. <laughs> it's a little special. It's a seven. It's twice as good. The old shit and shit. Um, Vaklov is going to come out and help. <laughs> and Vaklov rolls an eight. 
<laughs> they were getting there. All right. I, I, my hole is extra right, sticky I'm going to come over. I'm going to come over. I'm going to pull uh, one of the patches off of my denim jacket. Yeah. And it turns into a 24-foot ladder. <laughs> and I drop it into the hole. <laughs> I mean, it's sticking 14 feet out of the hole now. But. Yep. But you can <laughs> climb it. All right. I, I climb the ladder. Okay. Now you go. <laughs> Climbing is something I'm actually good at. Uh, give me a con check. Sure. A con save. Con, con save. save. Uh, 11. Did you make your... Oh, I'm sorry. I have to give you a DC, don't I? Um, yeah. Uh, that's Your total is 11? Total is 11. Um, okay. Um, you, your lunch starts to come up, and you force it back down. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, so I don't have a lot of money to pay for a second lunch. Yeah. yeah. Um, your hole doesn't work that way. <laughs> You've never been in your hole and had that kind of experience before. Listen, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what I do in my private time is none of your business. Stop putting weird things in your hole. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> Wrong campaign. Yeah. No, that's all your characters. <laughs> Body by actually makes a lot of additional holes. <laughs> oh my! God. Very small though. Yes. Nice. All right, so you've landed mm. and you've crawled out of your orifices. Everybody okay? No, my my portable hole is malfunctioning. Dang, good thing I had alarm, man. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your hole got ravaged. <laughs> <laughs> I've hidden in there before, and it's been fine, and now it was like an acid trip on mushrooms. Oh, he got acid in his hole, too. I've done that before. <laughs> we know. <laughs> I'm going to check on <laughs> the NPCs as well. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> now you're trying to call them Yeah, Roz was properly buckled in <laughs> and, and as a pilot, and so she's she's all right. She's just really, like, so she's irritated. Up, yeah. She's really irritated, and she's like, um, you know... Um, I didn't join up on no hokey-ass expedition to be crash-landed in the middle of the woods, and I don't know what you people are thinking, and, and God Almighty. So she's really, like, ranting and raving and really, really upset. Mm. But uh, We didn't crash the ship. Yeah, you're the pilot. <laughs> Christ, but, uh, he scratched the paint. But, uh, you know, Va- Vaklev is very, uh, um, you know, after after struggling to pull pull uh, pull Dak out of the hole, mm. just the hole jokes are just going to be all night. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know he's uh you know he he's very kind of quiet and he's like I didn't expect this. We are, is everybody hurt? And everybody. Everybody hurt. took the same bludgeoning <laughs> damage, so nobody's really you know hurt any more than the other guy. Um, oh. well, you did not take the seven bludgeoning. Would you? Okay. Would you all like to take a moment to join in a prayer of healing? No, nope. take more, <laughs> but more than ten minutes. Dang old fire, man. Uh, I need to, I need to think about what to do next anyway. Um, I, how close are we are to the, how how close are we to the bald hill? So you're not really quite sure because you can't see it anymore. You're in the woods. Mm. You just know you didn't make it that far. Yeah, the terrain is um, swampy. The terrain is actually the woods. You actually are, are in the woods right now. Do we want a prayer of healing or a short rest? <clears throat> I'm fine with either one. I don't need either. He only wants to you know if your prayer healing is ten minutes, he would kind of appreciate just ten minutes. Yeah, he's, he's, he's it's a ritual cast, right? It's a, it's a regular cast, but it takes like it takes ten minutes to cast. Oh. Uh, don't waste the spell slot on it. I think and it's two d ten plus my my prison modifier hit points. I wouldn't waste the spell slot. Keep your spell slot for fun combat things. I've okay. got heals at the wazoo, so if we get crazy, I'll do something about it. All right, you got it. Um, I'm going to heal myself at least. I would like to uh, find a, a particularly tall or or sturdy looking tree that maybe I can climb and get a view of the terrain. Uh, sure. I lift my ladder out of the hole and ah, yeah, that the works. Yeah. I'm going to heal myself. Oh, sweet! Heal myself for eleven hit points. <clears throat> okay. For oh, and <laughs> the ladder for you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, is it um, is it light or dark out? Uh, it's light. All right. But yeah, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I'll take the ladder and climb up to a, a tall tree and see if I can't get a, a orientation. Do a um, give me a uh, um, uh, acrobatics at advantage to do that gracefully. I think I do acro. Oh no, acrobatics is not an expertise. Sorry. Um, oh, that would have been funny. <laughs> Eighty three. <laughs> Uh, that is going to be a 19. Okay, no problem. So you get up there, and you see... So you're way off from the bald hill, but you see, basically, you have your crash site, the village, the swamp, and the lake. The lake is sort of a, like, a diamond shape, and the village is at the tip of one of the diamonds, but all the rest is, like, a circle of swamp. Okay, so And then the bald the hill's, like, way the fuck way off. The fuck you, you really, you really we're kind of We're closer to the village, then. You're closer to the village at this okay, point, yes. Right. All right, I'll, I'll shot down. I'll shot down to uh, <coughs> to Valstock and, and point in the direction and be like, "That village we passed is just over yonder, walking distance." Okay, uh, we go that way. 
Well, unless we can get this ship flying, hopefully they got something we get that will help. Um. Okay, he ordered. He basically he basically asked Roz to stick with the ship and see if she can figure out what happened. You know, using her associate's degree. <laughs> yes. Nice. I'm gonna unbuckle fat ass and uh, and get re- and get ready for the expedition. Okay. Um. Any, anything else before you head off to the village? Um. You got a means of carting back the barrels. Well, because I because I got my mule, but uh, we still need a cart. Oh, uh, I didn't actually go over these barrels, did I? I didn't no. really go over the barrels. Okay, no. so the ten barrels have been are stowed. There, there's ten of these barrels. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll actually give a, a better explanation because we do have another uh, um, artificer, uh, so I'll give a better explanation. I'm an but basically, these are oaken barrels. So I don't know if you put bourbon in them too. I don't know. That's that's a choice. Sure. Yeah, but um, repurposed afterwards. Yeah, but they have these adamantine ba- bands. The bands going around them are adamantine, and um, they are engraved with all kinds of sigils. And you get the impression that the sigils on the barrels and then the adamantine sort of form a seal to keep the moth ooh, from ooh, affecting ooh, everything. Ooh. Um, Kiss from the rose. On the <laughs> these these barrels, you know, they're, they're the big size. Um, you know, you know, yeah, the, the, not, the, not, you know, the big the size. Magnum casks. Yeah. yeah, the big, the big, the big barrels. The, the <laughs> you can fit dwarves in those. Yeah, uh, or a sure. shitload of space hamsters. <laughs> sure, or a couple of really bad film directors if you want to throw them in the river. <laughs> um, um, How many yeah. Roman Polanskis does it hold? And you suspect <laughs> that if you if you fill them up with with whatever, you're kind of assuming that <laughs> you're kind. Of <laughs> that needs to be a class feature. You want to like child. something like <laughs> that. Um, um, and. Uh, you know, they, they, I don't know, somebody throw out a weight number, but if you fill it full of wet, marshy gook and you fill up each barrel, that probably weighs quite a bit. Gosh. So, you know, I don't know if someone else would do uh, some quick. It's got to be a couple hundred pounds. Be, yeah, pounds. that's all I was thinking, yeah. like 250 pounds or something. Yeah. Each one of these barrels. So we are going to need a cart. I mean, the, the village kind of looked a little run down, right? But I'm sure they have carts. Right. I can make a cart if we have materials to make a cart with and we're in a forest. So that's easy. Maybe we, uh, maybe we scout before we bring barrels. Yeah. Come back later for them. Um, I will do my light trick on like a stone or something and hand it to Roz so she can see in the dark if we're gone for a while. Okay. How long does light last for? Uh, this is not the spell. This is uh, a thing that artificers do and it lasts until I decide it doesn't. Oh, cool. Uh, or if I die, it lasts 1d6 days after my death. Oh, and I've got, sure uh, come up. I've got myself a drip globe as well. And I'll just pat the drip globe, and it comes up, and it's like one of those Spencer Gifts things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Vanagraph? Cat, cat toy, yeah. cat toy things. <laughs> so she takes whatever whatever you cast the light, and she kind of goes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then turns the lamp on. I hope. Can this be one of your PCs, Paul, someday? <laughs> I like her. I have a hard time switching between actions. I'm, I'm picturing Janine Melnitz from uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, cool. Um, anything else before you... Computers. So are you going to try to bring barrels, or are you going to leave the barrels? I think we leave the barrels. They're pretty big, and we don't have a vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Just the f- folding boat, but that doesn't help. Right. Not from giant barrels. And not in the woods where there's no water. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I'll i suggest, why don't we go to, the, uh, go to the, the village, see if maybe we get lucky and they have a mechanic. At least uh, if they don't, we can probably get a cart that fat ass can pull. And it's donkey. <laughs> um. <laughs> yes, well done. <laughs> I, mean, I am a mechanic, man. Can you fix it? I look at it. I get an idea of, like how bad the damage is from the so crash. I might say, um, Ruben is. Well, go ahead and uh, what would be the appropriate skill for that? Uh, uh, it's spell jamming ship, so maybe our kind of okay. <laughs> uh, that's a sixteen. Okay. So that's a good roll. So there's a couple things going on. There are some actual breakages of things, like the landing gear, those those legs. You know, the, the dragonfly yep. legs are also hinged for, like, cushioning and stuff, and, like, they're shit in the hinges, and now they don't bend right, and, you know, maybe one of them's kind of fucked up, so the ship's kind of listing. There's some of that going on. Um, because of the um, because of the deflecting of the ducts, um, there's not, like, a lot of, like, hull damage, so there's not holes in the hull, which would be a problem. Landing gear's definitely fucked up. Um, some other, like, you know, cosmetic shit. Maybe there's like holes in the wings because the wings are kind of diaphanous, but it's not horrible, right? The ship can still fly. Um, why it crashed and what, what happened to it, um, it's something that happened with the spell jamming field. Yep. So it's something where this moss that we're harvesting that shuts off spell jamming ships 
has shut off our spell jamming ship. Go figure. Have you? Are you saying that out loud to Volstar? Uh, I do, and, I, and maybe he understands it. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> so he, he doesn't answer you verbally, but an insight check of, like, three will, like, show on his face that he's, like, yeah, you're right, and I'm an idiot. Did you roll a three? It's a 16. Okay. I rolled a natural Yeah, one. it's obvious that he, like, didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. He, he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't think of that as being a possibility. He, tuition. he was he, He's, like, so excited to get this stuff in barrels and sell it for a shit ton of money. He's that not he that bright. didn't fucking think of it. So we, if we get it to a high enough elevation, maybe we can fly it back out of here, but that's... Yes. We have to get it to that elevation first. Yeah. We can put probably... it up on blocks. <laughs> I know we have some blocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Anything else before you head to the village? Nope. I think we're good. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, somebody th- uh, okay, so you're going to walk through the forest. Somebody give me a d10. Okay. I got you. Do it now! Six. Okay. Um, Six bears, Jack. Six bats. Six bats. Bear bats. <laughs> Bear bats. Bears Bear bats. with bats. Bears with bats in their mouth, so when they bark, bear, they, they do bats at you. <laughs> when they bark, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, it's a bear, so it'd be bork. <laughs> <laughs> or when they bark, <laughs> the bark. Oh my god, <laughs> Bercules. Nice. <laughs> I just imagine. That should be my next Belgian character. <laughs> that that would be a great werebear character. Toad just a, just a, a werebear barbarian named Bercules. Yeah. <laughs> Bear horn. <laughs> I love it. Cool. Um, all right, you're uh, you're walking through the forest, and um, oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day! Um, <laughs> was, uh, um, you kind of come to a part of the woods that, like, there's more trees knocked down than usual. Um, you kind of think it's more from weather than from like crashing dinosaurs ships. fighting or. Oh, I, I would assume. Oh. I would assume a bunch of ships have crashed in this forest. Right. <laughs> a bunch of dinosaurs have crashed in this forest. Well, they stayed up all week. Well, I don't, you know, I don't know why people think they can fly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Um, you see in the open clearing two very big uh, stag beetles. Ooh. Stag Did you just fart? Did you drop a <laughs> load? <laughs> like I did. Um, all those things are true. <laughs> and, and they kind of be, between between the donkey and like you, you, you know, you yokels all yokeling and jokeling with each other. <laughs> oh yeah, they sort of. And then they charge at you. So let's do some initiative. And just oh, oh, just oh, do some combats. Big bad Beetleborg is incoming. Uh oh. Bring a Beetleborg, man. Bring a Beetleborg. That was great. <laughs> um, hold those numbers. Give me a moment here. 